Now today saw the launch of this, the BBC Microbit. Every child aged 11 and 12 will be getting one of these at their school. If you're not sure what it does, I don't know, I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> the answer is that it allows children to code or to write computer programs. Yeah, the important thing is they know what it is. So one push of the button, for example, and you can, well, this is... Difficult to see, but it's spelling out points west. So the reason it's important is children learn more about programming. It's because basic coding runs everything from your mobile phone to your car, and this is at the very basis of it. And as the workforce of tomorrow, it's vital that they do learn how to do it themselves. Radio Bristol's breakfast presenter, Emma Britton, has been to one of the first schools in the west to take delivery of their micro bits. This is what all the fuss is about. These small devices can be used to control games or pause and skip songs on a playlist. The students at King's Oak Academy in South Gloucestershire were among the first to get a proper lesson. What did you put on yours? Um, I've got the... Is that the dice? Yeah. Ah, so by pressing the button, that was a random number. Yeah. Yeah? What do you think you're going to end up using it for? So, like, making, like... Games from like my dad and my family to play, so like then I can like put it into, onto the computer so then they can play on it. This was a first basic lesson, how to make some lights flash on the micro bit itself, but it can lead to much more. This sort of computer programming runs our mobile phones and games, as well as many other things in our daily lives. And the UK is currently facing a skill shortage in this area. These days, like, there's quite a lot of technology and, and, like, in the future, that's going to be even more so. If we learn it now, then later on we wouldn't really need to know it and then we'll be, like, just really good at it. It's really important that students understand how computer code works and how it controls the things that we see in everyday life. So by using the PPC Microbit, it means that not only can they write the programs, they can actually see what's happening when the program is running, which is an experience that is really difficult to mirror in real life. Every 11 and 12 year old in the country will get one of these in the coming weeks. And although to some of us this can all seem quite baffling, to most of these students, it's second nature. Emma Britton, BBC Points West at the King's Oak Academy in South Gloucestershire.